Good morning, good morning, Amanda See Watts here, and welcome to today's video. And we're talking about how to get a first advisory or coaching client when starting from scratch. So this is what I would do if I didn't have my followers, if I didn't have my database, if I didn't have a huge um, number of people that know about me, if I hadn't formed relationships with people already, this is what I would do if I was starting from scratch. And this is what I talk to my clients about doing so that they can go out and get the higher value advisory or coaching clients. Now, when I talk about starting from scratch, I'm talking about someone who is already good at being um, able to help people. Okay, so as an accountant, as a bookkeeper, I am assuming, hopefully, rightfully so, that you are an expert at being an accountant and bookkeeper and you understand about business and understand the things that work and the things that don't work. All right, so this is, you're, you're not starting from scratch having never done accounting or bookkeeping. You're an expert. We're talking about how to get those advisory or coaching clients. All right, so that's the caveat on this. So let me, uh, let me know if you're watching live, hashtag live. Let me know if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. And let's dive on in to the, the, there's five steps that you need to think about when you go and get your first coaching or advisory client. So step one is don't go out and do what you want to do. All right. So don't go out there and say that you are looking for clients to help with X, Y and Z because that's what you want to do. I want you to listen to the market. The first thing to do is to listen to the market and go, what is it that they are asking me? What am I hearing people ask about? Are they saying, hey, you know, are, are they laying awake at night? Are they really, really stressed because they can't actually find any money in their business to pay their team. Are they laying awake at night because they, they've got this huge tax bill and they don't know why they haven't got any money in their bank account? Are they laying awake at night because they've been pushing and pushing and running their business for years and they still don't have any money? What is it? What is it that they are saying to you? And then what we do is we take what they're saying to you and we turn that into an advisory or coaching offer. Now, remember, you are at the start of your journey. So this isn't going to be where you are in, you know, five months, six months, a year, two years down the line. This is to get your first coaching client. What do people want? And you tell them that you can help them with that. That's the first thing. OK, the second thing is we need to create an online brand for you. So you need to show up in a way that your ideal client, the person who is telling you about this pain, your ideal client will find you an attractive brand. So you need to make sure that when you show up, whether you are showing up through writing content, doing video, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute, but we need to make sure that you show up in an attractive way. So you need to have a look and go, what are my fonts? What are my colors? How do I want to show up online? You know, how am I going to dress? What is what is going to be my brand persona? When you've got that, you can then show up in a way that is in alignment with your clients, okay? And this is something that I have worked on so much when I, have been going out and getting clients. So when I first started my coaching advisory business, when I first started, I was working with restaurants. That's where I first niched. So I niched in the restaurant trade it's where I met my husband. He was a client. Um, I, I niched down into the restaurant trade. And the way that I showed up at the restaurants was very much uh, professional. I was not overdressed, but I certainly didn't wear jeans to the restaurant. I was very aware that my ideal client was really, really busy. So the content that I created cut straight to um, the, the, the crux of the matter. There was nothing fluffy. The kind of content I created was something that they could then actually consume at a time that was right for them. I wouldn't go live at two o'clock in the afternoon because they were mid, <laughs> mid service. So I really understood who my ideal client was and showed up in a way that enabled me to feel in alignment with them and them in alignment with me. And that's when I worked with restaurants. When I started working with accountants, that was a really interesting journey because it was like, you guys were around at different times and you actually are looking for a different kind of person. You you want professionalism, but you also want someone that you can relate to, whereas the restaurateurs didn't really want to relate to me at all. They just had such a big problem that they needed help with. So it was about the problem, whereas with you guys, it's also about the person. It's, re it's really interesting. So you have to understand your brand and how you show up. 
And then once we've created that visual brand, once you're clear on who you are and how you're going to show up, your brand personality, we then need to take that to market. So we need to take your brand personality to market and that's through creating content. Now, as I said, we're about to go and get your first client, your first advisory or coaching client. You might already have compliance clients, in which case you can go to them and see if you can upsell them. But if you haven't got your own accounting or bookkeeping business yet, and you want to skip creating a compliance-based firm and go straight to advisory coaching, then you are going to have to do something that is probably something that you haven't really thought about doing before getting a client. You're probably hoping that you can just go out and get a client. And actually, you have to spend at least a month creating content every day, talking about the problem that your ideal client has that you can help them overcome. Not talking about stuff you're comfortable with, but talking about the things that your your client has and the problem that they have. So that means for a month, you have to do a video every day, or you have to write content every day and do an article on LinkedIn. Maybe it means that you have to show up on Instagram every day day or Facebook every day. Note, I'm saying every day. You have to build a bank of content so that when someone is seeing that you're about and you're talking about the pain that they have, they can go and they've got at least a month's worth of content that they can consume. They can go to your YouTube and there's five or 10 videos on your YouTube. They can go to your Instagram and there's reels that they can see that you are an expert at what you're talking about. So we need to create that content. And when I first started working with accountants back in 2016, 2017, before I thought about even getting a client, I wrote an article every day for 90 days. I would get up at half past six in the morning and I would write 500 to 1,000 words every single day, upload this article to my website and I would upload it to LinkedIn. Now, magic started to happen when I did that because people would actually start approaching me saying, hey, Amanda, I've seen you on LinkedIn. I'm an accountant and I need help with my marketing. You look like an expert in marketing. So I showcased my expertise before I decided to go out and go hunting for clients. And that works really well because that stops the tire kickers and that stops people asking about the price because they see you as an expert. You've positioned yourself as that expert already. Okay. So when we go and create that content, what we want to do in the background whilst that content's going out is build your audience. So we need to make sure that every single day you're building your audience. And then with that audience, we want to engage with them and I call it love bombing. So we have to share the love and engage with our new audience that could be ideal clients for us. And we go out and we do some love bombing and all of my clients have to do this and it shows visibility. So you start to be more visible on their timeline as well as them looking at your timeline. And when you're visible on their updates and starting that conversation and starting to talk to them, they start looking at what you're doing. You can then take that conversation offline and voila, you will get a client. Okay, so that's the process. So let me just quickly recap. One, if you're launching an advisory or coaching business as an accountant or a bookkeeper, think about the questions that you are getting asked and the people, the pains people need help with. Secondly, think about your brand persona. How are you going to show up? Who are you? Are you a comedian? Um, Because there's 12 brand archetypes, okay? So are you a comedian? Are you a caregiver? Are you a jester? You know, what is your brand? You know, have a real deep thinking about how you're going to show up so that it resonates with your ideal client. Then the next thing, the third thing that you need to do is create content every single day for a month without even thinking that you're going to get a client. If someone inquires, woohoo, that's amazing. But just create content. Just focus on the fact that it's going to take six weeks before you can even start thinking about getting that first client. I wish I could say that tomorrow you could get a client. Maybe it would happen, but you've got to lay the purposeful foundations. Okay. So we then from doing the content, we then have to build the audience. So we have to make sure that you're connecting with people and commenting on their posts. So that's building the relationship. And then finally, the final bit is take those relationships offline and go and get your first client. Now this works even if you already have advisory clients in your accounting or bookkeeping firm. This works even if you've only ever done compliance and you just have what I call a monster business, which is a practice full of uh, compliance clients. 
even though we can go to your current clients, even though we can upsell them into advisory, you will run out of current clients. So you need to do this to go and get new advisory clients, new coaching clients that have never heard of you before. All right. So as I said, this is the way to go and get advisory and coaching clients. If you would like some help with it, I have a program called Leverage, which is launching in July. If you if it's gone July and you would like to find out about it, then reach out as well. But Leveraged is a program, six months program. And in that program, we are going to get super, super clear on who's an ideal client for you. We're going to create an offer that we can take to market that will have people biting their hands off to work with you. Then we're going to create uh, three funnels. We're going to create a lead generation funnel. We're going to create a, a nurture funnel, a way to convert those leads into clients. And we'll create an enrollment funnel where we take people from you know, coming to a webinar with you all the way through to becoming a client. And then we show you the exact marketing strategies, the exact content strategies that you need to put out into the world so that you create this, this brand that people go, oh my gosh, you are able to help me because you are helping me overcome the pains that I have. So if you're interested in that, it's a six month program specifically for accountants and bookkeepers who want to launch an advisory or coaching offer or want to grow their advisory and coaching offer and have done it purely by word of mouth and purely by their current clients. And now you want to be purposeful and grow that arm of your business. So reach out if you want to. Leveraged is the name of the program. Send me a message on LinkedIn or Facebook. You can send me an email. Uh, check out my website, although there's nothing about Leveraged on the website at the moment, unless you're watching this like a way away. Um, but yeah, get in touch if you're interested. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you tomorrow, probably, hopefully. And uh, have a great day. See you later. Bye.